everybody how excited you are. I'm nervous. I think I'm going to throw up and poop at the same time. Wonderful. I'm having buyer's remorse. I haven't even seen it yet to have buyer's remorse. That's why I'm having it. You're seeing it for the first time with us. We've never seen this thing. We bought it off one picture. And uh, this is it. We got a little bit of a bald tire over here, but I'm sure it'll make it home. We are getting ready to pick up our Humvee that we bought on the internet off one picture. We have no idea what's wrong with it. It's supposed to run. It's supposed to have a new top, new seats, in boxes in the back. So we're making a quick stop at AutoZone to tools. pick up some tools, some batteries, some starting fluid, stuff like that before we take off. Okay, so we just spent $1,200 on AutoZone. We got a- It's possible. Yeah, it wasn't hard. So we got a whole bunch of tools. Got us a third last tool set. Batteries. Two batteries, which we don't know we need. An empty fuel tank. Yep, diesel can. <clears throat> hopefully, we have enough stuff. I'm sure we've got some. Yeah, but hopefully we got enough stuff to get it together, get it running, and then maybe we'll drive it to the next auto yeah, parts we'll, store. Maybe we'll actually be there at the next auto parts store. We just got here and it runs. This is what we're gonna be riding in for 600 miles. It actually started right up. It's like cambered out how it works so uh we're gonna get to work and uh put the top with no passenger seats some seats and uh try to get this thing moving so we even got good batteries so i think we're ready to go right now i am i have a little cold uh feel like crap so this is always fun to do when you feel like crap cool we got doors All the bolts are rusty. We don't have bolts for everything. We're missing the front seat. We got two sets of rear seats, so. Jet, where are you sitting? I'm gonna be sitting right here. What about the seat belts? You got seat belts, don't you? Yeah, but they look like crap. I don't trust them. Well, they'll be okay for right now. Almost got the seat put in. I don't know if I put it in right, but it's going to be in there. So we got the engine bay open on this thing. First thing that caught our eye, we don't have any radiator caps. So we need to stop at the store and get one of them. It does look like there's a new fuel pump down there. Maybe that looks kind of new, whatever it is. But I don't know. I don't know anything about these engines. I do, first thing I noticed too was there's a lot of belts on that. I did not know it had that many belts. Let's walk around to the other side. door great big also pretty good hopefully we can get this thing on the road doors it's coming along dying of thirst do you have a water i do mm -hmm. right. why your wife is here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, when Dad just rode off on the Humvee, let's see, he didn't wait for us to get a video, apparently. I am feeling worse. I feel like crap after standing out there in the sun. Uh, so, I am in the rental car with... Mom. Mom. So... <laughs> 
There is the Hummer right in front of us. Humvee, I guess. As you can see, it is running decently. No problems. What are we going? 40, 50, 50 miles an hour. Pretty, pretty good, I think. Truck passing us, that shows you how slow we're going. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just hanging in there. So here we are, we're at O'Reilly's. We got the last couple parts we needed. We didn't have a- Coolant and radiator cap. Yeah, radiator cap, we're about gallon low on coolant. We tried to put air in the tires. I don't really know what's in it, but it's got more in it. The tires are square. It's scary to drive, but we're gonna get on the road and see how far we get. So this is what we're working with. I mean, it it's, looks pretty good. It, uh, yeah, besides the inside. Like, I mean, the suspension's not all rotted out and everything. The inside's a little rough. We've got uh, only the Speedo works, uh, no other gauges. So it's this one says it has 64,000 miles on it, which is a lot for one of these, I think. But uh, yeah, anyway, we got a whole bunch of junk back here. Doors and poppers somewhat on. Jed is gonna have to sit in that back seat because we don't have a front seat for it because it didn't come with a front seat, but it came with back seats. So he's gonna sit in the back seat. So you ready to go? Yeah. Here we go. So I am currently in the back seat right now. There's the batteries and crap right in front of me. I'm not trying to lean on this door too much because I don't really trust it. It's wire tied shut. It's wire tied with cheap AutoZone wire ties, but we got some wood right here that's dry rotted. Uh, and may I remind you all, I do not feel good at all. There goes the nice the sheriff. sheriff. We didn't get pulled over by the sheriff that just passed us, so that's a good sign. There's a bad vibration back here. Very bad vibration. Okay, so we're about, I'm about a minute into my drive in the Hummer. It's what you expect. You feel like you're uh, going to war, of course, and uh, it's loud. Rides like crap, definitely don't ride like no Cadillac. And yeah, that's all I gotta say about it. I mean, positive things, I guess. It runs, that's always a plus. Second thing, it moves, which is a plus. And third, I don't have a third. Right? A hundred miles. And we used seven gallons. We of used fuel. seven gallons of fuel in that hundred miles. Which well on power tour we're using twenty gallons every hundred miles, basically. Yeah. So to us this might be one of the most fuel efficient vehicles that we actually own. But tell them how long we've been stuck in traffic. We've been stuck in traffic for the past hour, I'd say. It's like seven o'clock at night now. What what time would you say we left like around four-ish I would say yeah, seems right? like it. something somewhere around four uh, so we've and been we're still in Georgia yeah we're still in Georgia so we might uh we might we're go cleaning the windows for the first yeah, time cleaning the windows for the first time but uh 
Other we, than the square tires. Other than the square tires, that's the only ma major concern. I'm pretty sure it's this one right here. It's a little wobbly at uh, slow speeds. We decided to be fancy tonight after a 100 mile journey here. We Actually, your mother decided to be fancy tonight. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, we made it 100 miles and what we left at 4. And then we got here at like 8. So what would that be? Mm, it's like, like four, four hours. Five, four or five hours. But we only went like maybe yeah, 100 150 miles. miles. We got stuck in really bad traffic around Atlanta, which took it down. And then now we're at some fancy chateau, a lawn, something. I don't French, even know where we are. It's a French golf course. Yeah, it's some kind of golf resort. course place. But we ended up, uh, we had to valet park the Humvee. That was pretty fun. Yeah, it, it, so the Humvee is parked in the valet so, spot, and the valet blocked it in. With another car. With, with our, our car, with the rental car. So, so it was per, it checked something off the list. I've always wanted to get something. I've always wanted to get something crappy valet parked at a very nice restaurant or hotel. We're in here, like, stinking up their nice hotel with our uh, diesel smell and yep. dirtiness. So first thing I had to do was wash my hands and I think they're still a little dirty. We're gonna go have a nice meal. And, Trump are uh, doing pretty good though. Yeah, Hummer's doing good. So we will start again in the morning. Hopefully, well we will make it cold in the water. Yeah. We got to. I do need to, I will be adjusting the fan belt tomorrow hopefully. I don't know. Ooh. I might not do it. I might just hope that it can last another 400 miles this last thing just make it. But, here you go. This is this uh this is just like a lobby area of this fancy place we're at. But I mean you can see this place is like this is high class. So here's Jet being fancy by the fireplace at the fancy hotel, Pinky Zoo. So yeah, here is this fancy hotel. Look, they got like furry pillows, like I don't know, you can't see that very well. I think it used to be like armadillo or a rat or something. <laughs> this is this place. I'm not real sure why Robin. It's like right off the interstate yeah. too, right? Yeah, right off the interstate. Right off the interstate. So if you're ever traveling and you're looking for somewhere nice to stay, this is a good choice. A <laughs> very good choice. I so. do not think that there's very many people who are driving Humvees that are staying here though. But we'll probably definitely. be the only Humvee that they've ever had here. <laughs> So that, that's a permanent record right there. The only Humvee. <laughs> they were looking at us a little funny when we walked in. Yeah, I told the so. guy, he's like, you, so are you valeting a car? And I'm like, sort of. You should have told him we were here to fuck shit up. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> it's morning. We had a good night last night, good rest. Uh, Jet's still asleep. So I'm gonna try to get uh, the back cover here, put back, put on right and arrange our tools so we can get to them when we need them but uh it seems the truck left me a little present last night and we have a bit of a leaf of something okay so i'm 100 percent sure this is not the way you got to do this but it's the way i'm doing it this top is cold it's wet and slippery and it does not want to stretch so i <laughs> to use pliers to yank it over top of it these little uh knob things so anyway it'll work so now i'm gonna move on and i'm gonna fix something that we probably should have fixed last night so this is the vent hose for our fuel tank and for some reason somebody has taken and loosened it and taken it off but maybe it just doesn't fit that like took no time to fix so tightened it up good to go move on to the next thing we're gonna wire tie this top together and organize these tools a little bit next problem these two belts that go to the fan and the alternator are way loose so every time that fan kicks in they are making awful noise which you can see i've probably already killed that one so we're gonna adjust those here real quick and see if we can't fix that problem the other two down here seem uh, they might be a little loose too but we're gonna tighten these up first i don't see I don't think I have tools to get those other two, so we're gonna do those first. 
Jet still not feeling well. I feel worse today. I think I'm gonna spend the morning in the travel rental car and uh, maybe hop in later if I feel better. So I think we got this thing ready to go. Um, tried to tighten the belts up. Got two of them, two out of four tight. The other ones, now we have a power steering leak. Don't ask me how. Coolant leak too. Well, yeah, we have a coolant leak. Um, and we also have a very questionable right rear tire. So here we go, we're gonna go home. Here we are somewhere in South Carolina. We stopped for a 10-100 break. Um, the Probably the nicest rest stop up stop. Yeah, this rest stop's beautiful. There's like this nice lake. I mean, don't look, at, nice. don't look at the red sign over here, but yeah, over there, the lake is like really nice. But uh, anyway, getting ready to get back on the road. I had to put some windows down because the diesel fumes are straight up killing me in here. I still don't feel good, so I'm still riding in the camera. The cam we don't have a camera the support truck. vehicle so the mommy car the support <laughs> vehicle Just stop at O'Reilly's to get some. Uh, well, I guess that part's necessary. There's there some hose clamps. Why did we get hose clamps? We have a fuel leak. So come here and let me show you the fuel leak. Well, this is where I think the fuel leak is. So there is this hose clamp right there that is on the line coming from the mechanical fuel pump to the electronic electric fuel pump and it is no longer round and it's all wet around it so i think that's where my giant puddle of diesel fluid on the intake manifold is coming from and why it smells so i'm gonna fix that real quick i went to the liberty of getting him some nice butt cushions and back cushions that we're gonna duct tape down and even a nice little universal drink holder so we got all that. So I'm going to install that right now with some duct tape. So let's see how it works and turn these old nasty looking seats into Bentley seats. Look, it's got that nice like diamond stitch right in there. These are some high quality. They even come with a strap so I don't have to duct tape them. So <laughs> this is not only going to add horsepower, but it's going to make it so you can actually drive. <laughs> so, might have to do a this one. Oh yeah, look at that. Race car ready. It's ready for the track. Jack told me to come fill me up. That hose clamp is not round and it's going, it's like four times bigger than it needed to be. Okay, so our fuel line problem, I believe it's fixed. I think that was where a leak was coming from. So new, new uh, hose clamp there. This is the hose clamp I took off. Notice number one it is no longer round. It is kind of a oval. Number two. It's humongous compared to the hose it was on. 
I don't know who did that, but anyway, I think that's the problem. So we're gonna go with that. Okay, so there is our finished center console that is all duct taped in, ready to go. Don't move very much. I think it should work. They go use the bathroom and our hood strap broke and so this was our makeshift hood strap so hopefully it works and stays on there it was actually half broken when we picked it up so now it's all the way broken but other than that everything else has been good on it yeah. right? i think i'm going to no more diesel smell no more diesel smell i think i feel good enough that i'm gonna ride in there a little bit okay so currently we have stopped for fuel we are about three hours from home probably closer to four anyway we have a problem that's going to keep us from getting this thing all the way home and it's this tire that has been a uh, questionable since we left so it is turning itself into a slit and it's actually getting down past the wear bars so I'm worried too much longer it ain't going to make it so we got to go about an hour and we're going to drop it somewhere and then we'll come back to it. Hear, 
tires are not liking turning anymore. So uh, hopefully we can make it there with air still in this tire. But if not, what, like 400 miles, 500. We have been 523 miles. That's crazy. We, I mean, we like saved this thing out of the store, out of a warehouse, basically. We didn't really do anything to it. We put a top and doors on it. We fixed a few leaks. We fixed a few leaks. That's about it. Yeah. So we finally made it back to our other garage. I'd say we're two and a half hours from our where our goal was. Uh, so it's about 120 miles, I'd say, that we didn't make it. But uh, the reason why is how bald this tire is right here. Looks like it's got more grooves in the video. On that one. On that one. But, but if you go back here, you're showing the light right here. And there's bubbles. Yeah, there's like, you can't really see it in the video, but there's like bubbles forming inside it. And on the way, uh, on the way back, on, like, right. yeah, there's one right there you can see. But uh, on the way back, down the 45 mile an hour road after we got back from the from the interstate off the interstate it was making weird vibration noises which normally happens when they're about to blow up right so i'd say that this was not going to make it home without blowing a tire how many miles did i say we went we went 520 miles which is amazing for this thing i think we got we bought this thing with one picture didn't know anything about it. Never even knew anything about a Humvee, I would say, right? Never even been near a Humvee. Never even been near one, even better. So, but we're, uh, we're here, we're safe. I just think it's amazing that this truck was parked in that warehouse probably for, I'd say, 15 years well, no, minimum. I'd say those people have been working on it. Well, I think they've been working on it, but I think- We did been... find a tag that showed that the antifreeze was checked by the army or somebody. So it was in service in 08. In 08. Yeah, 08. So, Anyway, we made it. We didn't make it to our ultimate end goal, but I think it was still a plus. I'm happy. So this was like our backup plan all along. So we it had to happen. Anymore. I mean, that tire. Well, we knew the tires were a problem since we got there. But I, yeah, but the, when we stopped for that last gas, it was bad. This tire was definitely a lot better than it is now. So. I don't think we would have made it home without having a problem and nobody has these tires i don't have a spare so this is much better than being broke down on the side of the road in the dark so we fucked it up we had a decent trip this Besides turd me got sick, sick but now he's kind of looks like he's feeling better well, i so. feel better i'm all on i'm all jacked up on tylenol right now so. we'll see you next time we decide to go fault something up